Hi, this is Mathia Ford with Healthy Diet Menus for You, and today I want to talk to you about eating a cholesterol diet menu and how to make it work. A cholesterol diet menu is important when you have high cholesterol or you've had a heart attack, but when you imagine changing to a cholesterol diet, what do you think of? Do you think it's a complicated process with lots of willpower, or it's cutting back on many foods that you enjoy? I'm here to tell you that it's not as difficult as it may sound, that it's involving some simple changes is where you start and you will get make progress and as you make that progress you can make more changes. It's not something that you have to do immediately overnight. It is something that you can do in small steps. Things to change, sauces, try for less um, cream sauces and more of the broth type sauces. Look at your salad dressings, eat lower fat salad dressings and um, gravies. Try not to use as much of them, but if you need to use a gravy, do try to use a little less. Um, a lot of people think of putting gravies on their meats and sometimes you can do things like a salsa or a different type of um, topping that's lower in fat than gravy. Replace them with new, different, sometimes unknown food that is in the right diet for you. Follow the recipes that you need to follow, but just make sure that you're following things. You're not adding more salt or more fat to items, but you can do it with the gravies and with the sauces because a lot of times you can do, instead of a cream sauce, you can do a um, fish uh, mango, you know, topping or a light gravy or something like that. Um, cooking methods need to change. The way you cook can either increase or reduce cholesterol in your menu. If you add um, butter to uh, corn while you're cooking it and then you also add butter at the table, that's a bad choice. You should just add butter at the table. Um, all you're doing is adding calories when you're putting it on there and then you're still going to add butter anyway. So instead of frying your food, you can grill it, bake it, broil it, or boil it. Uh, definitely want to stay away from frying your food. Basically, you can forget frying your food anymore. Draining the fat off foods after cooking and aim to increase your unsaturated fats like mono and polyunsaturated. Um, one of the best ways to do that is to use liquid oils like olive oil or canola oil. All of those have high amounts of um, mono and polyunsaturated fats. Substitute some in your recipes as much as you can. Vegetables are rich in fiber and have no cholesterol. Um, any food that is not an animal product so if it's milk, if it's eggs, if it's meat, it's going to have cholesterol in it. If it's um, plants or um, soy, for example, it's not going to have any cholesterol. Don't eat cakes, creams, or anything with a lot of sugar in it or a lot of fat in it, such as dessert, more than once a week. Now, does that mean you can't ever have dessert? No. It means that for dessert, maybe you should choose to have a whole fruit. Um, yogurt with... Uh, topping on it, oatmeal, granola, those sorts of things as desserts instead of the um, high calorie pies and cakes. Check out our website at Healthy Diet Menus for you for more information. We also provide a cholesterol diet menu with meal plans and grocery lists for you if you're interested. Thank you very much for listening today.